Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you've had a really blessed week. So this week we're going to be doing what are your person's expectations for you. But before we get going on this, I know a lot of you have messaged me this week to ask for the bump update, to ask for the nursery updates. Um, if you haven't found me on Instagram, it's just Mystic Love Tarot. I'll put the details that way or that way. Um, I'll put the details there for you so you can just come and find me at Instagram and Facebook where I'll be doing the updates. Um, so so as kind of the baby is progressing, as we're progressing through the gender, uh, through, through the timings, I'm getting really tired, 32 weeks now, um, surgery is going to be put down for the 39th week, uh, but obviously there's the likelihood that he can come a little bit early. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I've recorded a bunch of maternity readings for you uh, that I will release each week as we do on a Thursday, um, and I'll give you updates each week on how we're getting on. I'll just kind of edit it and put it at the start of the maternity. I'm also going to do updates on Instagram and Facebook. So again, if you haven't found me on there, go and have a, uh, a like. And uh, you don't subscribe on Instagram and Facebook, but go and have a like and a... Um whatever you do over there i don't even know myself what it's called um and i will do the updates on there each week or, or how we're getting on how me and the baby are getting on so yeah 32 weeks can you believe it it's gone so so fast so this is how big he is now he's kind of jumped right from right my back is gonna jump from out there he's come up over here and then i'm gonna show you the nursery because i know a few of you have asked about seeing the new house anyway um but this is this is going to be his room so as a druid i went for a woodland thing so we have this beautiful fox over here people are asking me did i paint it i said i wish i was that talented to paint it then we kind of come over here and we have all the trees and all the animals i absolutely love this guy i couldn't get i had to get him um I just fell in love with him and foxes are one of my spirit animals so I had to get him and then I obviously had to get him the matching set so <laughs> he got a duck uh he's got a bunny and he's also got a hedgehog so we had that um we've got a changing table over here foxes again um coming around this way I have some of Vicky Yeats's art she is a um She's, she, she does a lot of stuff with the Goddess Temple in Glastonbury and I just love her artwork. So you have the fox and the owl here and you have the stag and the hare at the top. This is uh, this one's called Hunt Me, um, which is really kind of for the time of year that he's going to be coming. I had to get it, had to get it. Then obviously we have the crib. Um, in the crib at the moment we have the car seat ready to go. <laughs> no, not ready to go. It's just kind of lingering in there. Um, and then some birdies, and that is the nursery. That that's what we've got. Um, really happy with it. I just think it's so so beautiful. I I don't I don't know if I've done it more for me. It's <laughs> somewhere to just for me to go and chill out when it's a bit too much. Um, with the baby or whether it's for him. The either way, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that is the nursery. Right. So let me just shut this door. This door gets so stiff. It's like dead sticky. It's a sticky sticky door. So, what we are doing this week, on to, on to business, let's unlopsided you, you're a little bit lopsided, on to business, what are the expectations for you? So, because it's coming up to Sawe, and because this is kind of coming up to my favourite time of year, we're going for the creepy decks, and I know how much you guys love a creepy deck as much as I love a creepy deck. I love my creepy decks. <laughs> I just do, I do, I do. So this one is the Deviant Moon Tarot. And this one is the Holly Simple Tarot. Now, please don't get freaked out by the pictures. Um, if you are a little bit sensitive to, to pictures that could make you feel a little bit uneasy, um, then to just kind of, you know, take a step back, have a bit of a breather. <laughs> okay, let me just show you some of the images just so you can see what I mean. Because like I said, they can be perceived as a little bit creepy, but they're not. They're really not. They both have really good energy. So images for deck number one and the images for deck number two. And if I showed you the back, go to the deck that you are most drawn to. Number one, number two. And as you go into the deck that you are most drawn to, think about your person and feel that energy in your heart for them. Those emotions, those thoughts, those feelings, feel all that energy going to the deck you are drawn to. 
and that's beautiful so what happens how me and my guides work is we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances and situations okay so deck number one like how we worked out the mass of average of mass at school loved school <laughs> um, I was thinking the other day have you ever thought what was the point in using a compass you know how important is it to draw that perfect circle did anyone ever think about that it's something that I'm really glad I learned at 35 years old how to draw the perfect circle with the compass okay <laughs> think about your person for me can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Of deck number one. Let's see what's going on with you both. I feel like I've got a sneeze. You know when you've got a sneeze, like kind of lingering in your nose. I feel like I might sneeze at some point. Just bear with me. Okay, let's go. So what is their expectations for deck number one? Yeah, I'll do that actually. are asking me i've got some extra i've got some creepy oracle cards as well and they've just shown me a clairvoyant image of them so i'm gonna get them right now before i forget because they channel through me so fast if i don't do it when they tell me to do it it's gone what are their expectations for deck number one what does that person want from them do, 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 do. Okay, so first thing that's kind of coming up as I'm looking at these cards that have jumped out is there's this very much a forward focus, okay? So they are looking towards you in the future. Not really, not so much going backwards, which is quite interesting. Five, and let me just get the overall outcome. I don't want to pull that many for you, to be honest. Uh, overall outcome. Overall outcome for deck number one. Okay, good cards. So, like I said, there is this kind of very strong forward focus between you guys. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is whenever I look at cards and they look towards the left, right, when they look towards the right, that is always a forward focus for me. So the first three cards that jumped out, you have got this forward focus of you and your person. So when they're looking at expectations and what they want from the situation with you, there is this kind of let's move things forward. And I'm just getting a song with that, um, which was, oh my God, The Streets. Let's go back to, to rural, uh, to chubby England. <laughs> the Streets, let's push things forward. Okay, so that's coming forward quite clearly through my right ear. So your person is wanting this situation to move forward. Now, there is a little bit of past energy coming up over here uh, where you potentially have been feeling a little bit betrayed by the situation or let down or hurt and your person um, didn't really handle the situation right. But we have with this an ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. So we've got a little bit of past energy still lingering with you guys, uh, but your person is hoping to move away from this. Um, they've realised that their emotions for you are extremely strong and there is this kind of offers coming forward, offers of love. So they would like to see where the situation goes between the two of you. Now, their actions at the moment, you might be thinking, God, that doesn't sound like anything like how they're behaving. They've just kind of floated away from the situation. The reason why they're kind of floating away from the situation at the moment is because it's going to give them a little bit of thought time on it. Time to think things through, time to think what they want, where they want the relationship to go. And they have got this very strong energy over here, again, of forward focus. Spirit keeps saying it, push things forward, keep moving things forward with you. Um, they know perhaps that their behaviour, Spirit said, they know perhaps that their behaviour hasn't been the best for you, that they haven't really handled the situation with you guys particularly well. Um, and there is a sense of remorse coming from the heart chakra. I can really feel that heart chakra energy coming up. And there's almost a sense as well in the solar plexus, not a feeling of guilt as such, but this feeling of, um, Maybe I didn't do this right. I've hurt, hurt you guys watching. I don't know what to do, how to recover from this. And this is also why their actions can be that they're floating away from the situation at this point in time. Now, it's really interesting over here that I'm very drawn to the chess pieces on this as well. 
Okay, both these cards jumping out, the Emperor and the High Priestess, your energy and their energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but when it comes to tarot, it always works with male and female energy. So you guys watching will be the High Priestess and your people will largely be the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a male energy that always works on this kind of adventure, this passion, this strong energy coming forward from them. They are the ones that are in control of situations. High Priestess is you guys, your psychic, your intuition, your power-based energy. And both of you are at very, very strong positions. And this can sometimes be why you come to a bit of loggerhead spirit. So, um, it's like a hurricane and tornado, you know, you both want the same things and then you meet in the middle and these kind of explosions can happen with you guys. Um, and this is why they sometimes take a step back from situations, they float away from it, they run, they hide. Um, and I just got with that Britney Spears, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide, sometimes I'm scared of you. Very strongly in your person's energy. And what will happen is when they're in this kind of Britney Spears, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide, you will find that they don't communicate how they're feeling and that perhaps they go and internalise a little bit and bring up stuff again from the past. Issues from the past kind of coming up. So it could be issues with you. It feels predominantly with you guys that it is more to do with you and them and stuff that's happened with you guys in the past. But there could be issues as well over here with, you know, childhood trauma, issues with mothers, um, issues with exes, etc, etc. So their expectations from you, when we're going towards an outcome, we're looking at the cards and they are really positive. So we have the world, all right? World upright, standing for an ending of cycle and a beginning of new one. The world also shows an alignment of you and your person's energy. So we have the four elements kind of coming up over here, the earth, the air, the fire, the water, return, 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 had to throw that in there. Uh, the earth, the air, the fire, the water, um, and the joining or merging of your energies. So when we're looking at the expectations from you, we want this, that they want this merging of you and them to come together. And again, their actions might have to meet up with that, because at the moment they're in the, very much in this air energy, they're very much in their thoughts. They're not so much in the one's energy, this action, this passion, this movement. They're very much in their thoughts at the moment, which is why they're floating away or just being a little bit distant. But as time progresses, once they've had that little bit of downtime, you have this kind of coming forward and they're going to cut away the, the, the bullshit from the past, per se. Uh, we also, with this card, which I find absolutely beautiful, is we have this very strong yin and yang energy at the top. So again, masculine, feminine, light, dark, good, bad, right, wrong, duality, reason why we come down to planet Earth, our duality. So we have this energy coming forward here, a new beginning. Um, they might act on this new beginning based a little bit more on logic and then their emotions might come forward first, uh, come forward after, sorry. So when they come towards you with this kind of, oh, let's see what happens, let's go with the flow, let's take our time with it, you might find that they are still a little bit of a a-hole <laughs> to begin with, that their actions aren't quite meeting up with what they're saying. Um, but the longer this kind of goes on and the more you go with the flow of it, which is the fool over here, the more energy they have towards working towards a new beginning with you and the fool I, you know i love the fool card he always symbolizes this kind of new beginnings let's, t let's take a leap of faith let's go for it let's see what happens let's let's go with the flow sometimes we have a sense of naivety that comes with the fool so you know with the world and the ace of swords over here as well they might not see the impact of things that have happened in the past with you and them OK, so where you've been hurt in the past, your person might not see that. They might only see things from their perspective. So just be a little bit prepared for that. But what they want from you is a situation to progress forward and um, going with the flow of it. Very forward focused. Let's see what happens. Let's go with it. Let's see. Um, you know, expectations. Um, expectations is a weird one because... Technically, we really should live a life of our expectations, especially when it kind of comes to manifesting, because expectations is the mother of all ethos. Now, we have this understanding and this knowledge and this this knowing that things will happen. But when we step into this energy of expectation, it can it can really F us up. OK, um, because you suddenly expect something to happen. Really, when you do that, you block any energy kind of going forward, flowing. You are the ones that block it. So, um 
there's a knowing, there's knowledge that this is going to progress into your favour, but I would advise that you step away from the term expectations, even though we've used it in the reading. So let's have a look. What do you need to know? Any advice for you on deck number one? These little oracles over here are the Strange Lands Oracle. So I'm a girl that I don't use Oracle really. Um, I'm not a big Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine, everything is fine, everything is perfect, patience, time. I'm not like that. I like the the the, the more um intuitive, passionate cards that come from it. And let me just get one more for you. advice for you guys. Advice and outcome for you. Let's see. They're very Halloween-y and, and I probably use the same kind of decks when we do the Halloween reading. If any of you guys have an idea for Halloween and you want to pop it in the comments, just let me know and we can do that reading for you. Okay, advice for you guys. You've got create, you've got rotted like the fish. These two jumped out at the same time, so I grabbed them both. Uh, you've got grab a star and double take and then we have growth. OK, so when we're looking at advice for you and we're looking at the oracles, the first thing that's coming up over here is creation. So uh, especially as we're going into like the Salween Halloween energy, when we go into this energy, it's a fire energy. And even the bond that we've just been through, the, the autumn equinox, it's a fire energy. And fire always stands for the creativity. Your womb um, is your creative power. You know, um, this is where your energy lies, whether you have a womb or not, that power is still sitting within your womb. That is your creativity. OK, um, so what we have over here is this need to bring the situation into fruition. Now, if you need to manifest in time, give me a shout. They've got a really, really good success rate. Um, they are fabulous. They are great. If I say so myself, everyone is designed specifically for you. So you tell me what you want. Me and my guides will go and write all the individual things out for you and send it over to you so you can get manifesting on it. Bringing this into reality. Now, the reason rotted is coming out, um, this is talking about past energies. Again, coming up over here, where is your past energy? Okay, talking about things that happened in the past with you guys, how it might have affected your confidence with the situation. Um, so need for surrender and release coming up over here. So creation, bringing into your, you your own reality, surrendering and releasing. Grab a star and double take. These two coming up as a kind of coming together, which I really, really like. So the double take, obviously, when you take a double look at something, you're like, did that happen? Did that really, really happen? And the grab a star talking about being on the right path. OK, the star always symbolizing where you're going, what you want, faith, hope, dreams, ambitions, aspirations um, and double taking. So a few of you guys are probably going to be thinking, is this actually what I want? <laughs> that's going to be coming up so you're going to be having a little bit of conscious thoughts happening maybe a little bit of battle and the other thing that's going to be happening with the deck over here um is when your person starts increasing their actions towards you even though they might still be a little bit icy you're going to double take it because you're going to see that the potential for the future for you is actually coming into fruition so that's beautiful and then we have growth OK, so growth coming up symbolizing right at the kind of start we go from creation to growth so again, allowing the situation to unfurl. Um, very much spirit are saying to us with the time of year as well, autumn is about to show you how important it is to let go of the things that no longer serve you, just like the trees let go of their leaves. OK, beautiful, beautiful uh, time of year. I do love this time of year. And um, so this is talking over here about, again, kind of surrendering, releasing stuff from the past. So overall advice for you guys on deck number one. Manifest, bring it into your reality, follow the law of attraction, give me a shout if you need me. Um, releasing and surrendering the past. You're probably going to have a little bit of a brain, a, a little bit of a wobble as you're thinking through your choices about what it is that you want. Probably going to have a little bit of that, moving yourself forward, okay? Um, and also when your person starts making stronger actions towards you, you're going to be double taking it and thinking, is that real? Did that really happen? Growth letting the situation flow and again with spirit talking about the leaves coming off the trees following that you know letting go of things that no longer serve you really surrendering and releasing the past lots of meditations um 
other things you can do to release the past again i would work a lot with the fire energy that's around us at the moment so write a list of things that no longer serve you burn it outside go outside and do it <laughs> otherwise you have smoke alarms if you do do it inside obviously just be super super careful okay i uh, recommend you probably do it outside when they're burning because it does stink out the house I've, I've done it a couple of times in the house and um, there was one time i wrote this list it wasn't a release list i think it was a it was a new moon bringing in the energy and it was under the fire so new moon under sagittarius i think and so i wrote a list and I burned it and the, the whole thing just went and there was ash like all over the room and the house stunk for days so just a bit of a warning on it obviously if you're going to burn anything go outside so surrendering is really good uh full moon if you're going to do it we'll do it on a full moon i would work with the fire energy of mabon and sawain coming into you so doing that as well meditation like i said always quite a good one to surrender and let go um depending on how you handle things how you handle your faith um maybe doing some i'm hearing about dream work quite a lot for you guys at the moment and next week i might do a reading on your dreams and seeing what your person is dreaming about you like subconsciously while they're going to sleep and dreams for you so what they want from the situation um might do a reading like that if that interests you okay and that is deck number one so yeah give me a shout if you need me i'm going to start slowing readings down a little bit now um i am exhausted drained tired and in pain um like i said getting ready kind of for the last legs of little baby coming um so i'm still doing readings each week but i'm gonna probably start slowing them down so if you want to book in now um it is a really really good time for you because the turnaround time is down a little bit um and it's just before the chaos kind of hits over here so um would recommend booking in kind of now if you want to read them and that is step number one and i love you all to pieces and i hope you enjoyed the nursery tour and i'll speak to you soon lots of goddess blessings your way ciao my beauties okay guys deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in and turned on um at the very very start of the reading i give you the bump update i give you the pregnancy update and i give you a nursery tour so if you want to go back and have a look uh just scroll right back to the start of the video we're using creepier decks today um time of year phil the need to use creepier decks other things that are going on um I'm start spirit is starting to slow me down a little bit now getting ready for the baby because we've only got six weeks to go um so starting to slow me down a little bit if you want to book a reading now is a really really good time to book before i do go on maternity when i go on maternity i've still recorded public readings for you each week um, and i will release one each week with an update on how me and the baby are getting on and um, also updates will be put on instagram and facebook when i'm awake <laughs> and i'm not exhausted i will post them on there so if you want to find um instagram and facebook it's just mystic love tarot uh, both of them kind of echo the same energy so i put one on mystic love tarot on facebook and one on instagram so if you don't want to join both just one or the other um for the updates and i'll update you weekly on youtube it's getting near getting near yes yeah, so if you want to see the update or rather than me repeating myself just go back to the start right think about your person for me can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes so we're using um this card deck is called it's called the holly simple tarot and i've had them for many many moons many many moons when did i last use them many many moons ago um but like i said i feel this time of year i love using the decks that you know are a bit going into the Samhain energy a little bit heavier a little bit like more interesting right what is their person's expectations for them I've also got some oracle cards for us to pull what is, ooh, these are good for expectations for deck number two you're gonna like these these cards are you just pulled a good bunch yeah actually out of the five cards all five of them are good oh, you put a good bunch my friends okay let me just get the outcome for you outcome for deck number two okay i'm gonna stop there right 
anywhere that you guys are wobbling in your mind about the situation, about your person, about their emotions for you, about their thoughts for you, about their feelings for you, please take a step back, have a breather because these cards um, are very, very, very good. Very, very good. In fact, you couldn't have pulled, um, you probably could have pulled a few more good ones, but the ones that we got were looking really, really positive. So I'm actually going to start with the outcome of this and then we're going to go back. Um, but you're going to find this, you're going to love this reading. You'll love this one. Okay, outcome. Lovers, the sun. Both major arcanas, both very, very strong situations happening. Now, major arcanas always stand for the uh, situations going on around us. Um, and they are big things. You know, the majors are the big things. That's why they're called majors, surprisingly. Now, the lovers is signifying the love between the two of you. The sun is signifying happy outcomes. The yellow on these cards is signifying a boost in confidence, a boost in self-esteem, a boost in the connection between you guys. The love is growing. Um, and Spirit's saying really clearly without giving us a song about love, um, letting love grow. I've never heard it before, but I can hear it really clearly in my right ear. Letting love grow is one of the lyrics coming from it. Your two energies, and again, don't freak out by the creepiness of the deck, please. Your two energies are really, really aligning with one another. And these two guys, these two, two creatures over here, are sharing a tonguey kiss. We've got a little bit of French kissing going on over here. OK, now we also look at their faces and we have the third eye aligned. OK, so your energies with your person aligning your third eye. Very, very spiritual connection. We have the heart at the top to signify the love between the two of you. So lots of French kissing, lots of things moving forward, lots of positive outcomes. The sun coming up over here. He looks a bit, a little bit stoned, doesn't he? But he's having a great time. He's full of oxytocin. He's full of the love hormone, right? That's why he's looking a little bit stoned. He's having a great time. So the connection with you and your person and the outcome and what your person wants from this is the oxytocin, the love, the connection, the bond, the relationship. Confidence, really boosting. Massive surge in energy going on in deck number two. Massive positive surges. Where it's going, okay? What what else is kind of coming up with you and you you and your person? We've got the world. We've got the eight of wands. We've got the three of cups. We've got the page of pentacles, and we've got the star. So let's start at the very beginning. The world, okay? So this signifying this card over here, spirit is saying to me, signifying communication this time. So where the communication with you guys isn't really done much, or it's been a bit like uh, or one word and not much happening, we have new communication stepping forward, okay? New beginnings. Massive, massive, massive new beginnings. New beginnings based on communication and hopes and dreams and aspirations. With the star kind of flagging up at the end as well, this is talking about, again, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals and things moving forward. Your person has a lot of hope with this. Um, and I just saw a clairvoyant image then of, I don't know if any of you remember Carousel. It was one of my grand's favourite movies, Roger and Hammerstein. She loved the old musicals, absolutely loved them. And Carousel was one of her favourites. And there was definitely, um, at that point, when, when the guy's in heaven, he's grabbing the star and he's bringing it down to earth and he's giving it to his daughter, um, from what I can remember. So over here, you've got this kind of giving you a star. And it sounds a bit cheesy, doesn't it? But that is exactly what Spirit is saying to me. When your person opens up to you, they're going to give you the start. They're going to give you a lot of hope for the connection and tell you, they are going to communicate to you that this is what they want. They are going to do that. They'll tell you that they, they want this relationship to work. And that's coming through with this kind of page of pentacles energy over here. So the page of pentacles or the daughter of pentacles in this card will symbolize your person coming towards you with an offer. And this offer is a lot more stable than it has been before. Now, if you look at this card from a distance, you can actually see a heart, okay? It's an offer of love coming forward from them. Um, they're going to be a little bit frightened about communicating it with you. They're going to be a little bit unsure on how to word what they want over the situation. Reason for that, again, kind of, it's, it's flagging back to a lack of self-esteem. They're not really sure, even though they know that you guys like them, they're not sure how you're going to handle them saying, well, you know what, I actually really and offering you that star, they're not sure how you're going to handle it. So you're going to have a little bit of them being un, uh, unsure how to communicate it across to you. But both again, the third eye chakra coming up over here, 
both of your energies aligning with one another, moving things forward. Um, so we've got the Eight of Wands for movement coming in from your person as well. So making this direct movement towards you and you have your Three of Cups for your celebration. So when we're asking what your person's expectations are from the situation, well, their expectations are to end up in a relationship with you where there's lots of hope and dreams and aspirations and goals to meet. Making movement towards you, celebrating, celebrating the love that the two of you share. So I'm just going to pull you some of these. These are the oracle cards that I am using today because Spirit told me to, um, as they do. They always navigate the readings. I just listen to my guides. I am literally the channel. They talk, I, I give. They talk, I give. I used to say from Spirit, through Spirit, to Spirit. That's how I work. Um, so as I was starting to pull the cards for deck number one, they showed me this and I was like, oh, I need to go for these cards as well. Following down the creepy card line. Okay. So let me ask the question. What does deck number two need to know about their relationship and where it is going? Any advice? Look at that straight away. So when I was talking about the star and carousel, you had this energy coming up over here. Um, these stars coming forward. Now, I don't know about you guys and your Saturn's returns and things like that. If you need a good astrologer, um, go and have a look at my dear friend, Marion K. Taro. Uh, you can find her on Instagram. She's a great, great, great astrologer and she can tell you all about your Saturn returns and things like that. Um, I'm sure when she told me about mine, she was like, I can't remember the year the Saturn return was, but it was the year that I got married and then I got divorced before it ended. It's quite interesting. Yeah, she, she is very good if you want to have a look at astrology. So we have that, but what for the purpose of this reading, um, again, communication coming forward, communication of hope with the stars at the bottom. Communication of hope, grabbing the star and giving it to you. Okay, what else do they need to know? You got create as well. So deck number one got create. This is talking about manifestation. If you need a manifestation plan, just give me a shout. Um, I am still doing manifestations at this moment in time. I'm still doing readings, um, manifestation plans, life purpose readings and past life readings. So if you need me, now is a really good time to book before I start to really slow the work down before maternity. It's only like six weeks left. <laughs> so if you want to put go and book now before I kind of uh, really do nip it on the head I, I won't be reading for a little while whilst I am on maternity um, and then once I get more into a pattern I will start doing more again but I, like I said at the start of the readings I will give you updates each week Songbird coming up Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac Songbird, these birds keep singing like they know the score I love you, I love you, I love you like never before so it's all coming into alignment for you guys, really. It's, this is such a positive, beautiful reading. Um, and Spirit are showing me with this, that they're saying, um, I'm just looking at this the bird over here and I'm not quite sure where it comes in, but they're saying bluebird. Um, birds are obviously a symbolism. Every bird has a different symbolism towards goals and dreams and, and what's going on like the crows follow me around my friend calls me the crazy crow lady uh, like the crazy pigeon lady from mary poppins the crows follow me but they are a symbol for me from goddess as well um so bluebirds coming up over here um and i'm sure there was a song about bluebirds as well probably a wartime song about bluebirds the other three that have kind of come up over here these guys are just these three these guys these three guys these three cards sorry acid mm, lovely these three cards kind of coming up over here are talking about just a little bit of advice for you okay if you're feeling a little bit doubtful a bit of automatic writing a bit of moving yourself forward focusing on yourself meditation gaining confidence working with your root chakra if you need any tips give me a shout the road path is there for you it's all moving forward a few little blocks in the way but these are blocks that are probably coming up in your mind as you doubt worry and have concerns reason why is because you're feeling a little bit sensitive at this point in time over the situation a little bit uncertain um but really trusting your intuition this is what these cards are suggesting for you to trust your intuition when it comes to the situation with you and your person it's what they want they really really want this connection to work out with you guys 
And that, my loves, is deck number two. So if you need me, give me a shout. Like I said, I am about at this moment in time. I'm going to start slowing the work down. Spirit are starting to get me to slow down. My body's starting to get me to slow down. So I am still doing readings right now. Um, but I will keep you posted the more we go on. Not long, not long. God, not long. Uh, I really need to think of a baby name. <laughs> I've got a clue. Really need to think of something. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the nursery tour and I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you all soon. Um, lots of goddess blessings your way. Stay safe, my angels, um, and enjoy this beautiful mystical energy that's happening all around at the moment. The power of the earth, the pulse of the land is really, really strong at the moment and it's so, so beautiful to feel that pulse for that blood running through your veins. That is your past, your ancestors and your history. Now, you know, we're not in Salwain yet, but your ancestors are starting to draw nearer to you. And that's why that pulse of the land is so strong. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, lots of love and I will speak to you soon. Lots of blessings. Ciao.